Hello friends, I am Anindya Dattya and in this video I will show you how to submit a HTML form by using Ajax. So the front end will be a HTML page that will show a HTML form and on clicking the submit button it will send the data via Ajax to a PHP file and will process the database store functionality in that PHP file. So let's begin. So first of all, we will create a new folder Ajax form and inside it, we will create a index.html file and inside this file, we will have a basic HTML form. If we load this in the browser, so the URL is localhost slash Ajax form, that is the folder name and here we have the basic form and make sure you have Apache is turned on. If I stop the Apache, then it will not load. So make sure in your XAMPP control panel, you have turned on the apache so it's loading again the word ajax stands for asynchronous javascript and xml why it is used it is used to get data from the server from client side after page reload so to perform any database operation or server related operation without any page refresh we have to use ajax we will basically call a file by Ajax and perform some operation. So here we have three fields name, phone and email and the last field is the submit button that is submitting the form. So now we have to submit the form on clicking this button but without page refresh. When doing Ajax we will not refresh the page. So in that case we have to do it by JavaScript. So I will write script and end of script text slash JavaScript. Inside this script we will write our Ajax call and in our case I will use jQuery Ajax. So what is jQuery Ajax? There are two type of Ajax normal Ajax and jQuery Ajax. The normal Ajax call function is look like this and jQuery Ajax function is look like this. But to use the jQuery Ajax function, we have to include the jQuery library. If we search in Google jQuery library CDN, then we have the CDN link for the jQuery. So here is the Google CDN for the jQuery. So if I copy this script and here we can see we have to add this inside the head tag. So I will include this inside the head tag. After that we can use jQuery Ajax call. Here I have applied a CSS margin 10px and I have applied it inside the parent div. After applying the CSS the form looks like this. So we have a gap between the form inputs. Margin provide the gap. Before writing the Ajax call function, I will change the input type submit to type button because we are going to submit the form without any page reload. If we use submit, then it will reload the page on clicking the submit button. Now in this button, I will write on click, I will call a function submit form. So here we have our function and I will write the function here and we will do the Ajax call and all the form validation inside this function. Inside this function we are getting values from this inputs to send it in Ajax. Here var name equals to dollar input name equals to name dot val. So when we declare any variable in JavaScript we have to use keyword var. And here we are getting the value with dot val function. So here we are using input name equals to the name of the input. So if we check the second line var phone equals to dollar input name equals to phone dot val. So after dollar we are using the first bracket and within the first bracket we will write input and inside the third bracket we will write name equals to phone and after the first bracket end we will use dot val. Val is a function that will get the value of this input. Actually this is a jQuery syntax to get an input value. We are using dollar to use the jQuery method and here is the element input name equals to name and dot val is a jQuery function to get the value of that element. So dollar and here we have the element and dot val is the function to get the value. So if we will do an alert here of name 
for checking and after save if I go here and load the page and type name and submit so here we have the name so we are getting the values with dot val function now we will pass this value into the ajax in order to use jquery ajax we have to write dollar for jquery and dot ajax and inside this we will pass parameters the parameter is nothing but an object and object is declared with the second bracket and we have the elements inside the object is url that for now i am leaving it blank type what type of request we want to send to the server that may be post or get so i will use post another parameter is data what data we will send this is also a object i will declare it as form data and this is a variable form data is a variable and we will declare it above this line where form data this is also a object where we will pass the value of name email and phone and there is another parameter success that will be called after the ajax call is complete on success we will call a function and here we have the function and inside the function parameter we will write response this response is received from the ajax call so when we call a url here by ajax it will send the data here in post method and here we have the success function that will receive the response from the api so here we have the syntax now i will first generate the form data so name colon name this is also an object this variable will hold the form value of name phone which will hold the value of the phone in the form and the email parameter will hold the value of email received from the form and now we will place our url here the url value is nothing but the php file so i will create a php file here in the ajax form folder here we have the submit.php and we will call this file so we have to write here submit.php and obviously we have to provide the absolute url so in that case we have to use this url and after that we have the submit.php if we place the submit.php in a new folder inside the ajax form say as api so in that case i will move the submit.php to api folder and now the url will change to slash api now i will write code for the submit.php so here we have the database connection here we have the host username password and i am connecting the database with pdo and now we will get the data and insert the data into our table in our case we have already one database php test with table name contacts and here we have some data and i have already created a video how to create database and its table if you want to check the video the video is provided in the description and now we will insert data into this table we have the same field name phone and email and now here we have the mysql insert query with a checking so here we are checking if we have the name field and the name field is not equals to blank and we have the phone field and phone field not equals to blank and we have the email field and email field not equals to blank then we are going to insert the data into the contacts table so our coding part is done now it's time for testing our code first of all i'll truncate the table here to delete all the previous record if i go to the browse then here we have no record now and now in the form i'll submit the form i have already added the values and clicking the save button and now i will refresh the database here so here we have the new record so the insert query is working and how can we know that the ajax is calling to know that right click on your web page and click on the inspect element and go to the network tab here in the network tab you can check what api we are calling when submitting the form so now i'll change the name to anindya2 and click on the save button and here we have the method post status 200 that is success so 
here we have the submit.php if i click on this then in the header we have request url same url that we have used in the ajax call function and in the params tab we have the form data that we are submitting so here we are sending data as the form data here we have the form data it carries the value from the form and if we check the response currently we don't have any response because in the api i have not returned any response yet so i'll return the response now so here i have created a response array with success as key of the array this success is type of boolean and it can holds only true and false so now i will update the success value with a checking so here i am passing the connection arrow query inside the if condition so if the query executed then i am going to update the success key element value to true and now here we are displaying the response array by doing json encode what is the function of json encode the response variable is an array and we are converting the array to a json format string so this string will be returned in the response here in the success callback function and if we do a console.log of the response so here if i refresh and after refresh if i click on the save button now again we have the submit.php call and i have not changed the data so we have the previous data so here we have the params and currently we have the response success true so it returning true because the query inserted the record and here we have the success value changed so in the console we can check here we have success colon true but this is a string this is not an object right now so to convert it to an object we have to parse the json response so here i have applied json.parse to the response and getting the parsed value in a variable var res and here we are doing console for the res variable and now i will save this i will submit again so if we submit now it's an object so we are able to get the data as an object and now we can access the value by object which was not possible from the response string so it's converted to object let's remove the email from here and save it so it returning false if we check in the api call so here we have success false and param was email blank that avoid the insert query in the api by this checking because email value is blank so it's not inserting into this condition and now we will make it to an advanced level api call so first of all i will apply the javascript condition before calling the api file the javascript checking is nothing but a javascript validation so here i have create a condition if name not equals to blank and phone not equals to blank and email not equals to blank that means we have value for all of the fields then we are going to place our code that is the ajax call inside this condition so that will maintain our javascript validation that is client side validation and and in the else part we can display some message so i will create a div here above the form tag id message and i will write the content inside the div so here we have the element that is dollar message here we are getting this element and setting the html inside this element and inside the html function i will pass a string that will be displayed as a content of the message div so here i have written span style color red we are providing red color for the error message so now i will save this one and refresh my page again and click on this so here we have the error message and now here i will just copy this one and paste it here before calling the ajax and after the ajax success here i have written processing form please do it and i am not changing the color and after the success i will change the color to green and change the message form submitted successfully and that is only possible when we have the success value true so here i have applied condition res dot success that is success value equals to true then we are going to show this 
success message otherwise that is else condition and here i will change the message form not submitted some error running the database query and i will change the color to gray and now i will test the submission so refreshing the page and adding the value to each of the fields and now submitting so form submitted successfully so that is the client side form validation and in the server side i have also applied the form validation so in that way we can create a form and then create validation through javascript and send the data through ajax to the server and in the server we are inserting the data into database that is also a way to connect normal html file with database thanks for watching the video share your experience about this video in the comment section below hit the like button if you like the video and obviously Subscribe for more upcoming videos.